Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Here we are again. It's Thursday. We're here for our our coffee chat. How you doing, Catherine? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, enjoying this mad, mad world. Um, I've got a fire going. I'm, it's freezing cold outside and gorgeous and warm in here. So I'm good. I'm really looking forward to this conversation today. I think it's a really important one. I know. It's so funny, Catherine. I was like thinking about like yesterday, a couple days ago, I was like, what are we going to talk about? And I was like, should we do something fun? Well, fun, like we do with feral people or and then all of a sudden, because I'm not on Twitter, Twitter anymore, but all of a sudden I got sent a bunch of tweets from Michael Flynn Jr., General Flynn's son. And I messaged you and I was like, we have to talk about this. What did you think of that? Before we even show the, the Twitter, the tweets, Catherine, what did you think about them when you saw them? I mean, everyone watching this, it's really important you make your own mind up. Um, so when we're sharing this, we're not saying we're right, but it's really fascinating that he's coming out and saying what we've been talking about for ages. Of course, he's probably been talking about it for ages. I don't use Twitter much. I am on there, but I'll go on there sort of once every two weeks, really. And I think it's such an important thing to have a conversation about because we are, we're going to be doing more on hypnotism as well moving forward in the coming weeks, but it all links together so closely because as we've said so many times before, and we've put our hands up for when we're falling for things as well, and I'm sure we will still fall for things. It's so important to keep questioning and not be so set in one direction that you're not prepared to look at the warning signs, the clues, the intr in synchronicities coming out. And this is really, really important information. When I saw it, I was like, yes, hallelujah. Again, someone else coming out there. And you can tell by the level of nastiness and the rebuffs and everything. When people are really called out on their SHIT, then they get nasty. And if you have to get nasty to defend your argument, then you're in a complete vibrational mismatch, in my opinion. Well, and it's so funny, and I've said this before, and Catherine, you and I have taken a lot of crap for mm. questioning, for um, trying to talk about controlled opposition, for trying to encourage people to actually critically look at their own thought patterns. Um, it's uh, unbelievable. And that, to me, when that when we both and, and some of our friends like Shanti and other people started to say, wait a minute, guys this truth of the world might not be what we think it is because we got so much pushback. That's when I realized the truth of the world was a cult mm. because in a cult, they fair game, just like Scientology. And so, and I think people fail to understand that critically thinking, it isn't just critically thinking about somebody you disagree with, but also more importantly, critically examining your own thoughts and i realize and you're right so we always make fun of like the left or the normies the other side of this because when they are losing an argument they just start calling you a name well the same can be said for the truther community we get called names we get stories made up about us simply because we questioned someone simply because we said something doesn't seem right about this simply because we've been saying no one's coming to save you and for me and i will say this because this gets into michael flynn's tweets um i've said this before and, and this kept replaying in my head when people would talk about like these white hats are coming don't worry relax just sit yeah. back it's all taken care of my mother used to say to us growing up that if you allow the government to take care of you, then you allow the government to control you. And so that bothered me because if somebody's coming in to, on like a knight in shining armor to, to save us from this disastrous group, then aren't we just in, aren't we just allowing another group to come in and control us? Like, isn't that the same so a different side of the same coin? Isn't oh, that and I want to add to that. So I think it's really, I'm laughing because it's so hysterical because, of course, we can see it really clear. It's like Wayne Dyer says, you know, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And, of course, when you're caught in that emotional trap, that brainwashing trap, the whole point is you can't see it. So the people that fell for the pokes, 
they can't see it because they're yeah. caught in that brainwave they're caught in that vibration it's like the people that comment on our channels oh you had so and so on and i disagree with everything they say so i'm unsubscribing it's like if you are still in the mindset where you have to agree with everything everyone says then one you're destined to be very lonely two you're going to be controlled your whole life yeah. because even on the algorithms even when we're following the same things you know we are all being fed completely different things into our social media streams right so right if you're, you and your friends are subscribed to exactly the same channels they're picking up your conversations they're picking up your shopping browsing and they're feeding you different things that basically reinforce your belief systems so if you're the type of person that gets offense because us or someone else that you're listening to has someone on and they say something you disagree with and you fly off and get abusive about it then you are the problem and you are the one that's still caught in the brainwashing because if it's something that you're not holding a strong attachment to you wouldn't get so abusive in your response shall i bring up the first tweet and we can yeah let's go ahead and do it guys and i'm glad i, I text now again i'm not on twitter anymore and i do have all of them in my my phone the pictures of them <laughs> Um, but I wanted to pull these up so that you guys could actually see them. So Michael Flynn Jr., and this is, there's a number. So basically, I have so much respect for him because what he's doing, now granted, he is General Flynn's son. So I think there's more skin in the game because people keep using and abusing General Flynn's name, trying to attach themselves with, these grifters are trying to attach themselves with General Flynn, um, all sorts of stuff. So I can understand how that would, on a personal level would be very frustrating now i i um so i guess so there's a ton of stuff here if you go on his twitter where he's calling out a lot of these like telegram groups all that kind of stuff so let's look at this one from november 10th to the number 17 crowd out there i promise there are no coincidence or hidden messages meetings behind anything i post I cannot speak for General General Flynn, however, but please, for your own sanity, don't try to decode anything I post. Waste of your time, right? And I, I, I. That's why I pulled away with filming with a lot of people we used to film with because it was just like a madhouse, and and nothing they were saying was ever coming to fruition. Here we are, almost four years later, and I kept thinking, like, guys, coincidences happen. Like people do die like that, you know, not everyone who's died is still in, in witness protection program and all these. There's no secret plan. And I want to reiterate on this planet, we have we are ruled by consent and we know we get frustrated with the bad the bad guys because they manipulate that consent. Well, isn't having a secret military that's trying to, like, save you also not using your consent as well? Like you have to critically look at this and step back for a moment and release your emotions and just observe it. Um, let's see. I want to, this is hysterical. Look at this one again. So what they've done is they've taken his um, print and then they've picked out T R U M P one. Now look at all the letters there, and they're just picking out those things. You could make a million different messages from that circus. It's it's hysterical, and it doesn't mean. Okay, so we're not saying that there isn't such a thing as Jamatia. We're not saying that so, there isn't types of codes that people use. But it's like the ridiculous people that talk about numerology and then they add a they in and then they decide to add your middle name in and then they take your middle name out and then they add a street number in because you can make anything. It's like statistics. It's like yeah. sciences questions. It's who is paying for the study. It's like that with all these codes. You could make them say whatever you want and if you're really spending all your time looking at things like this or looking for every single quote then you've got to really really think about what am i contributing to my own life how am i better my own life how am i bettering those of my loved ones what self-work am i doing how am i keeping myself healthy wealthy and wise whatever it is because if we it's so important what we were saying bryce you know you cannot wait for a savior it doesn't mean there aren't good people out there doing good things right i mean there are good people doing out the things i had a family member who was just resuscitated in in uh, accident and emergency in hospital there's some really good doctors out there there's some really yeah. bad doctors there's right. some really good well i was going to say politicians 
but I'll take that back. <laughs> but there's always exceptions to the rules. But there are some, like Andrew Bridgeton in the UK, absolutely amazing guy who stood up. And so I think this is the thing is what I'm in, we're really saying this is because, look, we've spoken so much about if you're rushing to the defense of something and you're holding on to your belief with such venom that you're ignoring the obvious, then for your own sanity and protection, please just sit there and question it and sort of think, what if, what if this isn't true? How would that affect my day-to-day -day life decisions that I'm making? Right. And what if number 17 is a, I don't know if I can say it, a sigh, OP, right? Look, yeah. what if it is? What if, what if it is? What if it is a Trojan horse? I mean, go back, guys. We all, I, I, we all learned the story of the Trojan horse when we were children. Why do you think they taught us that story? This is, and I, I want to say something about Demontria too, because I, from the very beginning was slightly skeptical because you can literally make anything say anything you want. Maybe. And there, my first, like the first rumor that was spread about me, that was the first of many rumors that were spread about me that weren't true was that I was actually princess Diana in a mask, which at first made me laugh because I'm not. And then, it, and then I got pissed um, because first of all, why does, why does it have to be famous people that are actually doing something in this world? Why can't it just be a girl from Georgia? Right. And then second of all, the reason why that rumor was spread, because my full name is the same Gematria as her name. Now, I will go by Bryce Elizabeth Watson on documentations just so people know that I'm a female because my first name is my mother's maiden name. And sometimes it is seen as a male name. But in my life, Catherine, have you ever called me Bryce Elizabeth? No. Absolutely, absolutely. I don't go by my, I'm just Bryce. Which name are they using for Diana anyway? Because, you know, when someone gets married, which name were you using? Were you using the middle name? Were you, you know, there's so many variations that we can use. It's just ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. And then, and then I was like, okay, this is, this is crazy. This is, I would, I would be sending messages to people and they would take the demontry of what I said and like change it when I, and I was like, this is delusional. This is a mental illness. And I have to tell you guys, the United States, and since Catherine is from the UK and the UK, both of these militaries from both of our countries are some of the top militaries, are the top militaries in the world. And they're, they're allies, right? Do you guys really think, let's just come down a little bit to reality. Do you really think that these top militaries would create a Gematria system that is so easy for the average person to figure out. Absolutely. It's like I the mean, Morse code and giving it to, you know, in the war, all the codes in the war and, you know, giving it to a five-year-old that can uh, that can figure out. I mean, seriously. It doesn't make sense. And, uh, oh, I love this. One doesn't have to do with the other. The phrase digital soldiers and where we go, one we go all is more of a rallying call to patriots who are not sitting on our collective asses hoping for shit to happen. My guess with this statement regarding 17 is that people need to start living in the real world and not some science fiction land located in an 8chan or 4chan message board. And I'm going to add to that in Telegram and YouTube and Rumble. Completely, completely. I, I just, you know, I, I think this is, whether you like this person or not, just take heed of these things and sort of say, look, Yes, you can go and do your research. Yes, it's fascinating to look into these things. And I'm certainly not saying that don't look into these things, but don't be so attached to it that you're letting go of every other possibility. That's where it gets dangerous. And the abuse that people give each other, if you can't sit there and defend your position politely without getting abusive, then there's something you're really not that confident in the position you're trying to defend. Absolutely. And I want to say this too, because I'm going to read some more. And that's what he's saying. Like you have to do that. Guys, how many times Catherine, have we said you're the storm? You have oh, to get off he your says ass. That. He says yeah. that. I, yes, yeah, I've got, I've got, I'm going to, you have to get off your ass and actually make this happen because that is how you become free is by you doing it yourself. And I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put this, and I know this might sound harsh, but I'm just hoping people put this into perspective. Now I have had the privilege in my life of being able to travel all over the world. 
I have been in developing countries. I have been in third world countries. I have seen, I've been in and out of the slums, obviously working there. I have seen poverty like most people in a first world country will never see and have never seen. In India, I have been in, in houses made out of trash with children who literally don't have a toilet. They, that, whole, that whole phrase, don't have a pot to piss in, that is them. That is them. Now, if you're in a first world country, if you're in America, yes, we're all, I, I'm not negating the fact that there is a recession. I'm not negating the fact that things are hard right now. I get that there's fear of a communist takeover, all that kind of stuff. But just in your day-to-day -day life, I want you to sit back and realize, do you have a roof over your head? Do you have heat or air conditioning? Do you have sufficient amount of clothing to cover yourself with? Do you have food in your cabinets? And if you don't have food in your cabinets, is there a food bank nearby where you can actually go and get food? Do you have a car? Do you have gas in your car? Do you know how to read and write? If this is true, it might not be the house you want to live in. It might not be the size of the house you want to live in. But if all these things are true for you, you are one of the most, and I hate to say this word, but I'm going to use it, privileged people on the planet. So you mean to tell me that there are children living in shit, literal human shit right now. But the military is going to prioritize giving you a $2 million check first. The it's narcissism, it's just the narcissism is unbelievable. You guys and, um, you know, people are talking. Can I just about add, sorry, can I just add to that? It's like all the revaluations of all the different currencies. That revaluation is meant to benefit the people in those countries, not us who've bought extra things and want to get rich quick campaign. Now, if there's, I do believe we're in an abundant universe. I 100% believe that. I 100% know in my heart of hearts, but always willing to be proven wrong, that there is enough food to go around. There's enough water. There's enough land. There's enough abundance that we know how to heal most of the health ailments that people are still dying in horrible slow deaths of. However, if you're listening, watching this and sitting there on your backside saying, when this revaluation happens, I'm going to go and start a charity. I'm going to do this. I put in my business plan for that. Why on earth aren't you doing something now? You might not be able to go and buy land now, but you can go and volunteer somewhere. You can go and help someone today, yeah. not just wait until someone's handed you a lump sum. And bearing in mind those people, it's like, you know, Shanti talks about it all the time in Africa. Those people in Africa, they know what they want and how they want to do it. You know, no one wants charity. They just want people to stop stealing their resources from right. them and poisoning them and taking all their opportunities away. And you're so right. I see that all the time about people, how they want to start these charities when they get this money. And I started a charity with nothing. Same here. Nothing. Like I, 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 this was years before I even knew about all this stuff. And I, I, I felt the need to help. And so I, I got together with friends and we did fundraisers and we started to help on the ground, hands on the ground, working with these kids. I brought six dogs from India on top of that back to the United States. I, we did fundraisers. Yep. To make sure to, that we got them. We, we vetted all the people like if you're waiting, it's like saying, oh, I'll start my new diet Monday. If you're waiting for some future marker to change, then it's never going to come. You have to, you have to, if you really want to help and, and you don't have to, and you're right, Catherine, that doesn't mean you have to go start a charity like we did. Go to no. the bank. I used to, when I, I have started an official charity, I just take in and rehome and help other people do a lot of things so my charity is taking in a lot of traumatized animals and looking yeah. after them it's my pleasure to do um so i haven't got an official one on paper like you have but everyone can do something you know i i, I mean there can be people that are ill that need their dogs walking there can be someone that needs their shopping done for them there can be someone that needs someone to go with them for a hospital appointment be someone that just needs you to go around for a cup of tea but i think it's so sad that this brilliant, brilliant knowledge and awakening that's happened over the last few years, which is is just changing the energy of the planet in such a beautiful, positive way, is being corrupted by people for their own gain that yeah. are setting themselves up as the ones who are trying to help save you. That, that makes me feel really sad that really good people 
have realised that they were being manipulated by one group of people and have stepped straight in to being manipulated by another. And I don't, I don't mock anyone like that because it's really easy. It's a sign of your nice character that you are trusting like that. But actually, when you start taking in all this information you've absorbed, the difference is, are you going to do something with it and make different decisions? Absolutely. And it's so, it, you're right, it doesn't have to be something... You know, we for the Americans, we have Thanksgiving next week. Do you have a neighbor that has nowhere to go for Thanksgiving? Mm. Why not invite them to your family's house, right? Do you do you know a family who's struggling to buy the food for Thanksgiving? We, there's some charities that will have people's names, and if you have extra money, go and buy them the the, the ingredients. It's usually anonymous. I've, at least here in Georgia, you can get the list of what they want to cook. You go buy the ingredients. And then the charity gives it to them so they, they don't have to, they can still have their, their pride and not have, you know, so they have, go do that if you have that extra money. You know, go go work. When I was in LA, I used to, in my spare time, I used to go to the LA Food Bank and help them box boxes of food for the poor. I would spend hours doing that. And it was, it was the most labor intensive stuff I did, but I loved it. And I loved the people I was volunteering with. And, and, and the United States, especially every city should have a food bank and they are constantly looking. If you can't afford to buy extra food for the people right now, go in your spare time and help box food. I love that. Be the change it. you want to see. Don't and, and we're going to do in a couple weeks, an episode on hypnosis. Like if you find yourself sitting all day watching these, I love this in the science fiction land of, of, you know, who you, you know, what's secretly going on with the galactic places and the freaking military, then you're living in delusion. Come back to reality because this is where the, the real world works, you know? And, and I, I believe that some of, you know, I, 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 we've talked about the Trojan horse. We've talked about controlled opposition. I 100% know that there are quote unquote truthers who were put in as a Trojan horse to put in to try to docile you so that the bad guys can roll out their plan, right? That's that. Ha what a brilliant military strategy. That's what happens. But there are also people who are what they call grifters, who are just living off of the energy and claiming to have these contacts that they don't have just to get you to up their subscription number, to possibly buy, you know, give them money. I, I don't know. So you have to be in you have to be accountable and self-govern yourself so that you're constantly you know, you can observe something. And that's one thing my boyfriend did early on that I, I really appreciated him just being like, instead, until you jump into something, just observe it for a while and just see what happens. Because sometimes things, things are not what you think they are. And, um, you know, I, it's even with the, the John F. Kennedy stuff. I, I don't know if he's alive or not. I don't know. I don't have any proof of that of him being alive. No proof what no one's ever given any proof. What some some crazy photo with some guy sitting in the dead. That could be anybody. But when somebody asked, I will say this, when somebody asked number 17, what did he say? He said he's dead. He was very clear. And people started to to twist that and say, oh well, you know, when senior died, then the junior became the senior. So that's not true. That's not how that works. Yeah. My dad's a junior. My grandfather, who's a senior, has passed away. My dad's still a junior. That's why you have, like, King Charles the Third. Yeah. If the other two die doesn't mean he becomes one. So... Oh, oh, I, I just... I, I, such an important point. You can... And, and I understand the desperation. I, I do get it. So when we're talking about this, we've all been there. We all want things to be how we want. Of course we do. And that that is... For me, Bryce, I think... That's a really positive thing because we all know that we are the master manifestors yeah. and the dark side can't manifest. And so they're getting you to put your attention and your energy in one area. So having that positive energy of wanting everything to work out well, but actually at the moment, what difference does it make who won the 2020, you know what? Right. Uh, you know, we... we I know time's an illusion, supposedly, as we've been told, open to discussion on that one. You know, just because we've been told it is doesn't mean it is. Right. Although there are quite a few brilliant um, experiments and Joe Dispenza mentions this in some of his books about how changing the thought processes now can change results in the past. So the thing is, everyone watching here, your attention and energy is just as valuable 
as JFK's is just as valuable as Trump's. You yeah. have the same power, we all do, of we're all equal, we've all got the same power. It's just some of us will learn and use it in different ways. And we've I want really people, I'm not expressing this well wise, but just to really understand that their opinion, their thoughts, their wants, their wishes for what their world to be is just as valid and just as able to create as all these people that they're listening to or people that are in so-called important positions. And when we make that switch and we realise that and we really question, I've been doing it loads these last couple of weeks because of a few things that have happened in my personal life. I'm talking to myself here, folks. I'm having to say, oh, okay, this is happening. Where's my energy? Where's my attention? How am I talking to myself? What daily habit? Have I let some of my morning habits go? Because if things are going rocky for you, then I'm asking why. What am I doing to correct it? I'm not asking for someone to come and save me. Yeah, and I, I'll just give you the, the as you're saying that too. I, 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 I'm not on Telegram. I don't have a Telegram channel, but I'll, I'll so people will send me stuff. And um, there are people who have literally stopped paying their mortgages and their taxes or their land taxes because they're being told that it's not legal for them to do that and it's going to be given to them anyway and now guess what's happening they're getting foreclosed on so they're losing it you guys i agree that the the, the banking system is messed up i don't think catherine and i are d debating that at all but you signed a contract with the bank in order to per so you have to do you know what I'm saying? You can't just say like a, t a toddler, you know, and, and to me, it's not I, fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. You signed that contract. Yeah. You and you didn't read it. I've never read any of them. I mean, I'll put my hand up. I'm my own biggest enemy. There's very few times do I read the small print. Right. And I started to, because like usually, we, yeah. And I will say too, you know, it, it's, it's, how, you know, we, we know they're doing the build back better thing. You'll, you'll own nothing and be happy. So how, how interesting, I'll just say, is it that all these people are telling you not to pay your mortgage, not to pay your taxes, and all of a sudden your land's being taken from you? Mm. Seems pretty interesting that that would be what the, they would want. Like, you own nothing, you'll own nothing and be happy, right? So you have to think this through. Why are you taking financial advice from some dude on Telegram? Who is not a financial advisor? Why well, it's, it's 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 you ha you can listen to what I'm not saying don't you can listen to whatever you want but have discernment, have discernment. You know, and is it working out for them? You know, look for things where they've actually got proven evidence because you know they get saying we've said it so many times. You know, don't cut off your nose to spite your face. Right. It's like one of the things my dad. Where I was one of three sisters. We were always arguing, particularly my two other sisters. They really argued a lot. And when they'd always say it's not fair, my dad was like, life's not fair, get over it, move yep. on. And that's the attitude sort of luckily, I suppose I'm quite lucky that I've grown up with that being drummed into us. Because the thing is, there's so much wrong, we get it. And we're not saying that that's not the case. But what are you going to do about it? Are you going to spend the rest of your life moaning about it? Or are you going to say, okay, I'm going to energetically change the way I behave? And putting yourself in a really vulnerable position isn't helpful. You know, go back to the put your own. I took me years. Honestly, I was so slow on this one, Bryce. As a mum, it used to really trigger me saying, put your own air mask on, or an oxygen mask in the airplane before you do your children. And I used to think, I was very slow, I'll admit it. How selfish, surely you'd put your children's on first. Took me a long while to get that I can't help others if I'm dead. I can't help my top you know right. so yes i'm not saying i'm still learning i i laughed at a couple of things lessons i learned the hard way this week and yes i'm a, you know we're all we've all got different things that come to us naturally and others are a bit slow on but you cannot help others and move the way forward in the energy forward if you've had your house repossessed if exactly you've got no to cut off if, your gas if you've literally allowed and i will say you know i'm so tired of people saying like oh these wars are fake it's no they're real they're real you guys the gas prices are high it's real it's not fake it's not a movie it's real it's really happening you're we're in a recession stop living in that denial and that cognitive dissonance you know you feel it in your bank account it's real 
Well, I will say this too. Speaking of General Flynn, many, 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 many years ago, he made a public statement that if America falls, something along the lines of if America fall, the, falls, the world falls. Well, why is that? Mainly because we have these to mm -hmm. fight against the government. We're the last stand when it comes to this. We also know in the American Constitution that it states that if there is a tyrannical government, that it is the people's responsibility to form a, a word that starts with an M, I can't, I'm not going to say it, to basically remove the government. Mm -hmm. So people with these, American people have that right by the Constitution to go in and remove tyranny. But we have these people on YouTube and these people on Telegram sitting there telling you not to worry because the White Hats are in charge and it's all just a movie. Think about that. Exactly. Seems pretty, uh, uh, Doug and I were, Doug from Days Not Computer talking about that. Seems pretty obvious that's an, an, a, a, a controlled opposition move on their part. There, there are many things, but stupid ain't one of them. So they've got you hypnotized in this yeah. sci-fi sci fiction fantasy land where your ego and your imagination is running wild while your country is being taken from you. While your, your children's future is being taken from you. And I'm going to read something too. And the reason why I think, Catherine, I harp on this so much is because I actually believe that everybody watching right now is a badass. And oh, I completely. actually believe that if we figure, if we snap out of this, this... If you're if you're believing all this shit with the num with you know the white hats, you're just as asleep as the normie you make fun of, right? It's the same side. It's two sides of the same co of the same coin, right? And I believe that all of y'all watching, all y'all as we say in the south, that you are strong and you are smart. And if you just wake up, if you just kind of wake up out of it, we can take our country back overnight. It's done. It's over, right? But we just have to wake. We just have to like. Show, and I'm going to read this. So this is something, and I'll put this up on the screen. Um, Michael Flynn Jr. posted this. I don't, he said, I don't disagree with this at all. My point is to not always rely on coincidental decodes and happenstance posts from influencers and or those in positions of power in hopes that something big will happen or believe that some impending storm is coming to save us all from the communist takeover of our country. For what it's worth, be your own fucking storm. And what he shared was somebody said the purpose of the of the boards and 17 was to wake us up, promote researching for ourselves, and then take action and control of our own lies, lives. So um, this is the guy that he's sharing. Um, the op This operation is all in vain if we continue doing the same shit we did before and let me find his list here i've got so many pictures here um he does have a list of and one of them was like not researching like literally um listening oh i don't have that picture L listening one, one of them was like are you just taking for some some what someone tells you as truth and not researching it because if you're still doing that if you're listening to a youtuber or a telegram tell you something is true without researching it or asking for proof then you're no better off than you were before you woke up right and so um yeah i'm just so thank you for important, yeah, oh, i love it i so love it and one of the important things that we've been talking about for a long while and we're not seeing our own trumpets here because obviously loads of other people have been talking about this but when you really look after your own physical health mm -hmm. your emotional health gets a lot stronger so there is a reason i did a really lovely um interview with matt from cultivate elevate it's on my youtube and on my rumble please go and listen to that because there is a reason why people want to keep people physically weak and emotionally weak and i want to do and this isn't a sales pitch it's a genuine offer so bryce i've just launched my new gut health course because we know that a lot of your your microbiome is the number one thing that controls your immune system and it controls your emotional health as well. So anyone that's suffering with anxiety, depression, behavioral ADHD, anything like this, a lot of it is related to your gut health and they've been poisoning us for years. So I would like to give all your listeners 25% off oh, cool. with code. I'll, I'll send you the, the link afterwards and code BRICE25. I'm not doing this to send I'm doing it because when we take back the power of our health, 
we make better decisions. We can't be brainwashed in the same way. If you look at anyone who's been through this, it's one of the number one things they'll tell people is work on yourself to get yourself back in balance. And diet is just one way, but really important. It's very difficult to do the other things if your body's physically not got the minerals that we have to get from outside sources because our bodies can't make them to actually keep everything firing and wiring in the right way um so you know take advantage of that if you're drawn to it you can ask me for any questions but when we realize how strong we can be physically and emotionally a lot of these stressors do they don't go away but they get a lot less able to control us through fear absolutely i i, I know Catherine. we've talked about that i don't think I, I think a lot of people who have started to really listen to to this, because this is what Captain does off camera. This is what I do off camera. Like this, we're, we're professionals. We're not just some Tom, Dick, or Harry. We are literal professionals in this. And when I see people take advantage of stuff we've offered, like the shadow work challenges, and we start to relook at exercise and all that kind of stuff and diet, and you start to, when you feel better in your body, when your body feels stronger, when you wake up in the morning and your core feels stronger, you feel more acclimated to be the one to protect yourself, to be the one. That's why the, you know, a military, we think of the com military, they do combat because they're fighting, but there's boot, there's, there's so much training involved because that, you know, I, I've talked about it before. One of my new favorite shows is a show called Special Forces, where it's the English high English military and American military working together with like celebrities to take them on these courses. And you see how hard it is. And you see these guys that are tough as nails. And they talk about that grit and how it just trains you to be able to, to take care of yourself and take care of your family and the people mm -hmm. you love. And so it's absolutely, if you, the, 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 you know, Catherine and I aren't saying you got to be the one sole person to go, you know, charge your government. Just start getting on the treadmill. Just start going for walks. Just slowly start to take these 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 um steps. Take Catherine's nutrition course if if you want to 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 start to take your power back. You know to take it away from these people who are leading you down the as as uh you know the, as my boyfriend says the the junk conspiracy cul de sac where you're just going around in circles waiting for Kennedy and Diana to reappear when over here is where the real issue is happening. It's like the wag the dog. Look, it's that distraction. We know that the media distracts us from one thing so we don't look at the other. Well, the same can be true, can be said about YouTube, Telegram, all these other things too. Absolutely. Well, they've got you over here thinking you're on some spaceship at night saving people when in reality, you're losing your country, right? So we just have to be aware of this. We have to be aware of our, I love how he said, just come back to reality. It is our job. And for the Americans out there, holy shit, I'm talking to the Americans right now. Not that long ago, if we look at the American, if we believe what we've been told about the American history, which we're just going to, that's what we've been taught. Not that long ago, a bunch of 17 year old kids picked up arms against the strongest military the world has ever known. They were walking into certain death and by the grace of God, they won. You are the descendants of those people. You know they were scared shitless. And now look at us. We're fat sitting on Telegram waiting for somebody to magically bring us a million dollar check that hasn't been proven it's coming. Wake up. You you are the descendants of badasses. That is in your DNA. That is in your bloodlines. Wake up and just take that energy and save this country because it, it's up to us. It's not up to the military. It's up to us. So anyway, I hope I don't if want you to think if you think you can't do it, you can because all of us have got amazing transformation stories. You know, we all learn the hard way. That's the human way. Normally, some people are lucky enough not to. Most of us learn through bad experiences. And and I I just so many countless stories of people that have completely turned their, their life around physically, emotionally, financially, in every possible area. And that's where it starts. And it starts the moment you make the decision today just to do something different. You don't have to do it all at once. And you do not need to know how to do it either. You just start doing things differently and you start working towards a new goal, which means that you are the strongest, best, most empowered version of yourself you can be. Absolutely. And I'll say this again, this might sound like tough love. It might sound like, you know, that that 
I, I, I just want people, I think, Catherine, if we didn't believe people could do this, we wouldn't even bother talking about it. I know, I know they can do it. I mean, what I've seen people achieve over the last 20 years, you know, I've been working in alternative health with people and animals for a long while now, over 20 years. I never cease to be amazed by what people can achieve. It is absolutely incredible. And it's every single one of us watching this. You are so powerful beyond your imagination. Yes, we all need help. Yes, we all need community to help us along that journey and to discuss ideas. But let's do it respectfully. Let's let's move forward with respect and make make sure we are moving forward because the last thing we want to be doing is sitting here waiting for someone else to do it for us absolutely you you own your power you own your resilience and i just thank you again to michael flynn jr for putting that out there i know he took a lot of shit for it and again mm -hmm. guys if what we're saying if us telling you that you need to take care of yourself and that what you're the that you're being fed bullshit is triggering you then i would say to go back and um read the book combating cult mind control by uh, stephen hassan and go back and look at the bite model because that is a huge indicator for you that you are in a destructive cult or high controlled you're mind controlled basically and um and so we don't want you to be mind controlled we, we don't want that we want everybody to be able to, to think for themselves if you're in a healthy relationship with friends communities partners you should be able to question things and not be made fun of for questioning things right you know if you are in a telegram group where you're questioning what the administrators are putting up and you get kicked out or bullied and they block you okay maybe you're better off actually because that's a high controlled group and um you know just be just be very I, I would just be very weary of people saying somebody else is going to do something for you. I just, that is just not the way, that's just not why we came here. We didn't come here to eat popcorn and watch a movie. We came here to actually experience this friction and to, to know ourselves and to refine ourselves. And so anyway, I just hope that, um, I hope that, I hope that we all figure this out before it's too late. You know, I, I hope that, um, you know, the cabal is many things, stupid, stupid ain't one of them. And they were prepared for this. They were prepared for people waking up. And so they put in they put in Trojan horses out there to, to mislead us. And Catherine and I have filmed with a lot of them. <laughs> and I've learned. Yeah, right. And we've had our fingers burn. And we I'm sure we will moving yeah. forward as well. You know, don't get me wrong. We're not saying we've got all this sorted. Um, but what we're doing is, you know, that's what what any sort of good human does is when they find out something that's a risk to others they try and pass it forward and then it's up to each individual as to whether they resonate with that or not that's not our job yeah you, catherine do you know what eagle know the story of paul revere or is that it might just be American? well it was right before right when the, the beginnings of the so i'm going to say be we're being the paul revere's right now so paul revere for people um who are not from america we hear this as kids like right when the american revolution was starting um, he got on horseback and rode through all the tells, the town screaming, the British are coming, the British are coming, the British are coming. And he was on that horse riding, yelling out so that the people could be prepared for what was about to happen. And I feel like that's what we're kind of doing right now. So for you guys who are who agree with us, be the Paul Revere. Just be that Paul Revere and just be like, you might want to just step back and like, don't get too emotionally involved in these stories and just have a look and see what's going to happen because how much better is it going to taste when we are able to do this ourselves? When we are able to be like, I did that. Your kids, your grandkids, your great grandkids be like, yes, my parent, my, my, my ancestor was the one who made sure I am free today. And so take that responsibility. You don't have to be someone famous to do no, that. No, not at all. In yeah. fact, it's best not to be because you can do it more at <laughs> the radar. <laughs> so exactly. it's not exactly. to do someone favor so yeah exactly. all right thank you everyone let us know what you think and yeah. i'll put catherine i'll put the link to your nutrition course send me the link and i'll also put um some well, ice 25 is a 25 percent discount code yeah perfect thank you for offering that and you guys um I know next week, usually we every other week, we're on each other's channel, but next week is Thanksgiving. So it'll probably be two weeks because Thursday is actually Thanksgiving before we're back on Catherine's channel. And hopefully by then we'll have some more juicy stuff to talk about. We will. So we will. I have fun with the feral people. So hopefully we'll find some more. Maybe Michael Flynn will make some more posts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Feel free to send us anything you want discussed. We're always open for ideas. We love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And I want everybody just to get off this, this video and be like, I'm a fucking badass. Yeah, completely.
I'm the storm. So, all right, you guys, we love you and we will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Thanks so much for watching.